Hi, Hiram here. I'm going to do a repeat of the test I did yesterday where I have the carbon felt wick coming out of the simmer ring and a little piece of aluminum flashing. I don't know if you watched the one yesterday. At about, it burned for uh, 27 minutes and 30 seconds before it came to a boil. But at about 200 degrees in the water, which was about a minute before it came to a boil, vapors and flames came out of this section here where the simmer ring rests on top of the aluminum flashing that I have a hole punched in for the wick. What I'm going to do today is put the three-quarter inch flat washer on top of this to see if that'll block the flames. At the worst, I'm hoping they'll come up through the smaller hole. I'll prep some water, but before I go with that, I got an interesting comment from Mave Raver. I'd like to read this. My thoughts on this one, Hiram. Why not just buy a simple, buy or make a simple wick stove? Far easier and probably safer. Also less likely to have components lost if it's all in one piece. Whereas at the moment, with the washers, the flashings, the caps, there are just too many things to get lost when out and about on the trail. I appreciate that I that you like the Trangia, but in this case, I think you're flogging a dead horse, especially as they are they they are other better and safer solutions to be had. Sorry, I totally agree with Mave Raber. As it sets right now, what I'm doing here is called experimentation. It's going to be dirty, messy, but I do it so you don't have to. Once I get the, whatever the arrangement is, that this will finally work, then I can start narrowing it down and making it into one component that I would need for this. I do have a fondness for the Trangia Mini Burner. I like it the best of, uh, it's heavy, but I like it because there's nothing to go wrong with it. But right now this is just playing around in experimentation, and like I said, I do it so you don't have to. But thank you for the comment. I really appreciate them. Uh, that's why I've always said I, I like people sending in their comments and whatever they want to say and helpful suggestions. So thank you, Mae Raver. What I'll do now is get my water prepped, and I'll be back for this test. All right, I've got my water set at 60 degrees. Let me light that. Okay, let's go to camera two. Okay, there we have 212, it looked like 5220. Hope you can see that on the camera. That was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees, came to a full boil in 52 minutes and 20 seconds. Uh, a little bit longer than what I thought it would take. Might have to adjust, now this wick can be adjusted up and down. Maybe I should have pulled it out a little bit more, but it's at about a half of an inch. The thing is, I have a specific application that I'm looking for, looking for a, a round center flame to use for something. This might just do it. I mean, 52 minutes to get two cups of water to a boil, that's a nice slow flame. I'm going to let this run for a couple more minutes and see what happens. Here we are at over 60 minutes. The water's been boiling for 8 minutes and still no additional problems of vapors coming out and lighting from underneath the simmering. So that's 8 minutes of it just bouncing back and adding more heat to the burner and no more leakage. So maybe, maybe this is on the right track now. Like I said, I have a specific application where I need a flame like this, a slow flame. Uh, so maybe it's time for me to start going to the next step. Making this simple, just like what Maeve Raver was asking for. But uh, anyway, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my Buddy Max.
Bye now.